Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 5 of Grimgar, A Fantasy, and Ash. <sighs> mm, I, I don't even want to talk about last week's episode. No, no! Last week did not happen, even though it did, but just, I'm hurting still. And I just, I don't want to watch it because it's, oh god, the, the dynamic is just, has changed. Everything is now different and he's gone and like, it's like, no, 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 it's gonna die. Mmm. Other than that, let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Oh, Foundation. Yes, you should be watching. <laughs> I don't want to watch this. Uh, oh, I don't want to see his grave, damn it. So we don't get no opening this time. In a way, it's just the honor, you know. But then how are you going to get money? Mm-hmm. 
You guys should stop yelling. Yeah, you have to be careful that this doesn't happen again. You just, you learn from this now. But you don't have a healer now, so you're just screwed. So in a way, it's all your thoughts and it's protecting them. Don't blame yourself, it's fine. No matter what, I'm not as over a fight. Let's monitor for now. No, uh, uh, uh. just drink your sorrows, I like did. No. The trip. <laughs> she looks like Raina from Sound Euphorium. She can have an attitude if she wants, damn it.
No, because Ron can do it for you, Mary. Because, you know, she got an attitude to them. She might do something. <laughs> and that's fine. Yeah, I was just talking about that man. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you should have waited like a month or so. Exactly. Yeah, you would have discussed. He would have discussed it with the whole group first. And let everybody agree on one thing, even though y'all probably would have said no. The girls would have said no. But they would have accepted it. Yeah. I think that too. I guess coming to talk to them. Well, thank you. Are you giving it back? Why? 
But he probably knows that you guys are struggling. And it was a nice gift. Oh. Yeah, I think that's the thing. I think it just would have been better for you to earn it on your own. Instead of having someone technically give you money and then you buy it with that money. In a way, you still kind of feel bad. Even though you have something that you finally quote unquote earned. Excuse me. I shouldn't be sleeping. Um. Are you sure? Inviting Mary? Yeah. It's just better if you guys all just, you know, talk it out. Because if Manita did things by himself, he probably would have died, like, not even a couple episodes ago, if he didn't die last week. I'm not gonna cry again. Mm -mm. No. Like, inside, I am freaking crying, like, tears. To the point where probably I maybe got up and went to the bathroom to go get tissues, but I'm not crying now. I don't want to cry anymore. I haven't even watched Fruit Basket yet, damn it.
That's what they all needed. Each one of them has kept it in so long that, you know, saying one little thing to one of them could just set them off and then they end up crying. And they just all need a good ass cry. And it's not bad that people have good cries. Just, you need it when you have all that emotion inside of you. You gotta let it go. If you don't, it's just gonna build up and build up. Until you probably say something that's going to hurt someone really bad. I swear to God, if they don't end up together by the end of the series, I'm gonna be sad. Technically, even though Manato was gone, like him and Shihoto, they're, they're together. They're fine and together, and that's all that matters right now for them. Even though he's not there, they're together. so fucking much, honey. I mean, but yeah, like, you know, she just comes in at the right moment, like, oh my god, I'm sorry! I mean, it's cute to see those two just embrace, and I mean, like I said, they all need a big-ass cry. They all need to talk it out. I mean, yes, you had the guys, like, you know, drinking beer, and yes, that is one way to, like, remember someone and feel bad that, yes, someone has passed away. Typically, sometimes, in a funeral, especially someone who really cared for the person. Um, they'll take a uh, beer, any type of alcohol, and pour it over their grave. And just be like, you know, lay it out there. And I'm like, but still. For hard to throw away that gold coin, I mean, I'm proud of him. But then at the same time, I'm a little upset. Because at first, I thought he was going to take it back and go back home and have everybody all discuss if they should really keep this. And then if they didn't, he would have gave it back to Renji. But like, instead of him, he thought of it as, he, he took it upon himself to be a leader. And that's really what um, Monato wants him to do. Because the fact is Monato is now gone. We're now kind of looking up who out of this group is going to step up. And my, th my thing is, it's going to be Haru. Ron's is not really, you know, in my opinion, leader material. And then, but the other guy, like, he has that, but it's not as much as I think that Haru can do. Because, you know, he did something and he thought of it on his own personal thing. Yes, there's going to be some things that Haru was immediately going to say that not the whole group is going to agree with. Yes, having Mary come in literally probably maybe a couple of days a week, literally after Monato has passed away, does set the dynamic off even more. And especially because the fact is we go from a guy to a girl the girls are going to be really upset about this just because, okay, you we literally had to, you know, bury a friend and kind of, I mean, because last week it looked like, I mean, he got buried and then he also, it looked like he kind of got cremated because dust fell and I'm, I was guessing that was him in a way, but then I, I don't know. 
but I, I mean, as like someone who, you know, as a girl, you got to think about what we're thinking. And for those two to finally come together, talk it out, slash yell it out with each other, and finally, you know, having that thought that, yes, Monito is dead and he's not coming back. It's just, you know, it's not one of our, it's not my fault, your fault, da 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 It's all of our faults because we all fucked up. And the fact that those two, you know, acknowledge that, yes, they fucked up, that his death is on their hands because no one really, I mean, they protected him, but not really to the point where as, um... The guy who was sitting there getting drunk and saying shit has said as like, you know, no matter what, the priest is your leader. The priest is technically your, not even technically, he he or she is your uh, healer. You kind of got to be on that person's ass no matter what, because one wrong move, they can get hurt and they could possibly die. And it's still like, till me, till this day, even though I still got to post the, the previous episode on Patreon, I'm going to do that like in a couple hours. Um... It's still weird to me that he couldn't heal himself. That was the weirdest thing. But then it makes me wonder, like, okay, even though as we've had the conversation of how, like, I consider this an isekai, but at the same time, I really don't now. Um, why didn't anyone have potions? That's the biggest thing. Something else to stop the bleeding so then they could possibly get him up there and he wouldn't have died. But, you know... The biggest thing is saying, what if? What if this happened? What if that happened? You you can't say anything else because he's gone. And there's nothing else that these characters can do except move on. Now, Mary, on the other hand, she is different. She has a different dynamic. She's not as kind and nurturing and nice as Manito was. She's a bitch, honestly. But I do like her. And I feel like maybe it's going to take a little while for her to kind of warm up to the group. Someone might say something, Ranta, that is going to probably tick her off. And she's only, she's she's technically a part of the group, but not really until, like, I would say if she started living with him. But I don't think she's going to because she has probably, she has a place where she is saying she's probably technically the independent one of the group. She already has maybe more money than them. And maybe she doesn't really want to take it upon herself to live with them because it's like, okay, I'm only going to be here from, you know, this time to the day until we finally are done with our work day. And then eventually I'm going to go home and do my own ish because I don't need to spend time with you. Now, I mean, her and Ranta, they're, they're, I feel like they're, in the end, they're not going to get along. And that's fine and dandy. You don't have to get along with co-workers or your party members or anything. 50 out of 50, you know, you look at, like I said, all co-workers don't get along. Um, sometimes you have friends who don't get along with other friends and 50 out of 50. With that, that always teaches you maybe you shouldn't, you know, bring certain people up together because as someone who used to do that because i'm thinking oh yeah like one of my friends is gonna like her um or him or whoever and in the end they possibly just didn't like each other and the thing was people didn't tell me until it was too late and it's like why don't you say something now instead of waiting until you know a year or two or three or four years down the line when you are sitting here kind of faking your ish to someone which I don't think they're going to do that, but I do feel like there's going to be a point where they're just going to have to talk it out. Just how, you know, Haru and Yume did. I mean, except not to the point where they're crying and they're hugging each other because these two ain't got to hug because they're complete polar opposites. Yes, opposites do attract and usually work together, but I think with these two, because she is such this, like, um independent person because she seems like that and i mean yes even though you can be a bitch and also be an independent man or woman you can still be an asshole no matter what and you know it's fine if no one agrees with what she's saying or what he's saying it's gonna happen you're you know no one's always not gonna really like you so you gotta kind of get over that uh, but I, I feel like there's gonna be a point where they're gonna come together it may not be an episode um Six, seven, but it's gonna happen soon. Something, there may be a point where, like, a goblin might attack her and, uh, Ranta might take 
that step to protect her because maybe he doesn't want to have to deal with another person dying on him. And that's the thing that they're all going to have to worry about going from episode six to, I think, episode 12 or 13 because I know this show has an OVA and I'm kind of hoping that the OVA kind of does like an episode when Mana uh, Manato was still alive maybe but I ain't gonna know. Other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 5 of Grimgar of Fantasy and Ash. If you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out. Also subscribe to my channel I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys all officially next Saturday for the Patreons, and next Tuesday for everybody else for episode 6. Bye, guys!